3, 2, 1 yeah. Good morning ladies and gentlemen My name is Tian Datmasari Dewi from RMIT and Media Mandela Catholic University Surabaya uh, First, I want to apologize not for coming today because of the uh, coronavirus and hopefully um, this will pass and we can travel in Philly after that <laughs> uh, I will present uh, my paper today a conceptual framework for certification of manufacturing companies to deliver product service system solution a study case of the Indonesian motorcycle industry uh, and this is the outline of my presentation today from the background, justification and then uh, because this is a conceptual paper, so I will uh, um, discuss about literature review, research objective, and then uh, purpose of this research, methodology for the future methodology, and expected contribution. Um, now, as we know in the background, is a uh, traffic condition we know in uh, Indonesia. Uh, that from the statistic, we, we know that one of every three people using motorcycle. Why? First, because um, we know that the motorcycle is the cheapest mode of transportation in Indonesia. And secondly, uh, compared to the public transportation we have in Indonesia, it's not adequate in terms of quality and convenience. And the third reason is maybe uh, the leasing company gave a very low down payment for the uh, user so they can afford like uh, 500,000 rupees per month so it's very affordable for any people that have the motorcycle and the other background of the research is because we use the motorcycle as a daily life uh, daily transportation and um, so therefore we need a regular for maintenance and repair for our motorcycle therefore uh, uh, for example like uh, the uh, motorcycle manufacturer also provide the services not only the product so like for example like Honda they the mastering uh, almost 80% of the market share of the motorcycle because we know that Honda uh, provide many service partners so people will find very easy to uh, find the Honda official service partner so therefore they uh, prefer uh, manufacturer who uh, also provide their services uh, beside the product and the last thing uh, is because the product service system has potentially reduced the environmental burden with the reuse and recycling practices uh, and also the practice of the less waste Click. Uh, uh, as we know that product service system provide organization with many benefits including increasing organizational competitiveness for example like GFRG, uh, Charmai and also Alpha Laval company uh, has 25% from their uh, profit comes from the additional service and the second one is improve, improving organizational profitability and Increasing customer satisfaction because uh, beside the product, uh, the companies also provide the services along the lifetime of the product life cycle. And the last one is decreasing, decreasing operational costs uh, because they also practice less waste and practice of reuse and uh, refurbishment products. By definition, product service system has developed since the first de defined by CODCOP 1999 as a market proposition perspective. Um, and then it developed by uh, Sandra Hassan 2014 as the environmental proposition perspective. 
And the last one is a definition defined by Anarelli Batista Manino 2016 in the most brothers perspective because PSS is defined as a business model focusing on providing marketable set of product service which is proposed to be economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable to satisfy customer needs. Ah, yeah, this is uh, the image of how the motorcycle industry supply chain works. As we know, if we, uh, if the uh, manufacturer just only provide the product, so uh, we can see the supply chain is flow from the raw material to monocyte to the product itself and then distribution. But because uh, in those days, uh, the motorcycle manufacturers not only provide the motorcycle itself, they also provide the services, so they have to include the downstream supply chain. So in this conceptual model, we want to integrate what we call upstream supply chain and downstream supply chain. So downstream supply chain represented by the dealer and motorcycle service partner who are responsible to maintain and repair uh, and the uh, services for the motorcycle itself. So we can see here uh, the service partner is significantly important in this supply chain because uh, they also have direct contact with the customer as the representative of the motorcycle manufacturer. And the people itself in Indonesia is considered that the service partner function in the supply chain is very important. For example, I uh, have already given the example like Honda, they uh, almost get 80% uh, of the uh, market share uh, because uh, Honda have many uh, many branches of service partners. Yeah, so therefore uh, we hope yeah in this product service system in a motorcycle industry we uh, the supply chain can provide uh, the supply chain as the integrated part from the upstream and then downstream and then uh, we uh, also hope that the in the supply chain uh, based on the long term relationship because short term will not work at all in this uh, product service system uh, scheme. Yeah. Next. Yeah. So the justification of this research is why uh, we investigating the relationship between supply chain capabilities and the sustainability performance of product service systems because first the PSS study is limit their research only on downstream while the uh, supply chain study is limit their research on the upstream supply chain so therefore this research integrating to areas of downstream and upstream and then the second one is uh, lack of empirical evidence for using on validating the relationship between downstream and upstream. And the last one is lack of empirical research for the relationship between in the context of developing countries. Okay. And justification itself why uh, this research use motorcycle industry. First, because motorcycle industry contribute 13.2% of the nation's economic growth and the secondly PSS has not been fully adopted in the Indonesian motorcycle uh, and then the last one is that only few manufacturers in Indonesia adopt the PSS Next. so the literature review uh, has organized as this because I want to interpret the upstream and downstream supply chain so we organized the literature review uh, first is based on PSS organizational studies and then sustainability supply chain using dynamic capability studies and then product service system using dynamic capability studies represent the downstream supply chain. Next, yeah. This is the uh, result of the PSS organizational studies 
as you can see, most of the theories used here is using dynamic capabilities and next also use resource-based uh, view uh, theory. So therefore, the theoretical foundation uh, underpinning this uh, research is use the dynamic capabilities theory because uh, we don't use RPV because the weakness of the RPV theory as this like operational capabilities do not accommodate the rapidly changing environment while the dynamic capabilities is uh, accommodating the uh, dynamic changing of the environment which is uh, relevant which is significantly relevant to uh, the uh, sustainability supply chain dynamic environments to achieve the uh, sustainability performance and next uh, yeah, and this is the summary of the supply chain capabilities uh, represent the upstream and downstream. The first one is knowledge assessment. Knowledge assessment is the capability to access the knowledge from the strongest partner. And the partner development is the capability to enhancing the service partner capability. Reconceptualization is a capability to change the chain moving towards the uh, closed loop supply chain and the co-evolving is a capability to create new resources based on long-term collaboration and the reflexive control is a capability to monitor and evaluate the performance of the supply chain and the service delivery is a uh, uh, capability to exploit the benefit of service innovation in offering the product service system represent the downstream so the purpose of this research is to examine the upstream supply chain and downstream supply chain capability for providing the product service system solutions and the second one uh, to develop the framework that integrates both upstream and downstream supply chain and then investigate the relationship between them uh, to achieve the sustainability performance of product and system. So this is the proposed research model. It is uh, consists of the upstream supply chain capabilities, uh, which is consists of knowledge assessment, partner development, co-evolving, co reflexive control, and the conceptualization. And the downstream supply chain capabilities represented by innovative service delivery all together is a hypothesis as a positively effect to sustainability performance, which is consists of the economic and uh, social and environmental perspective. And next, so this is the research. Uh, hypothesis from the H1 to H6 all positively positively affect the sustainability performance. Yeah. And for the future empirical research directions, because this paper um, still in the stage of the conceptual paper, so uh, this is the future empirical research direction. Uh, first is what are the spread supply chain capability identified as significant for the sustainability product service capability and then uh, the second one is what is the relationship between uh, the sustainability product service capability and the sustainability performance and then the third one is how do the supply chain capability capabilities influence the sustainability performance of PSS in Indonesia motorcycle industry from manufacturer perspective and the last one is how do the motorcycle manufacturing perspective and the service partner perspective contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of the relationship between supply chain capabilities and the sustainability performance in the Indonesia motorcycle industry. So in the next uh, stage of this research uh, we will use a mix um, mix uh, methods uh, from the survey part you, we uh, want to survey for the service partners perspective and uh, in the qualitative part we